Rappaport leaders in Orlando and Melbourne think they might be able to avoid going to war over the name of the Melbourne airport. Channel 9's Field Sutton broke the story last year when OIA threatened the Orlando Melbourne International Airport with the government equivalent of a lawsuit. He joins us live right now in Field OIA wants Melbourne to drop the Orlando. Martha, I spent the day watching this play out. First on neutral turf in Port Canaveral, then a second meeting here at OIA. They think they can get things all hammered out without having to go to extremes, but things certainly have been tense in the meantime. A call to order. Facing off from opposite sides of a makeshift double boardroom, leaders from OIA and Orlando Melbourne International fought over whether an airport on the coast can use the name of a city in the middle of the state. Orlando's not on the beach. OIA's mad about a website called theorlandoairport.com, but owned by and promoting Melbourne's airport. OIA even paid for a survey asking flyers whether they understand the difference. That survey indicated that this is causing confusion. Melbourne's lawyer claims the survey is bogus. That just simply is not a survey that will establish a likelihood of confusion. Certainly. She says the airport has included Orlando in its name for years, and while business has boomed, complaints from people showing up at the wrong airport have not. We're trying to figure out what the problem is. Further, she says OIA's recent record milestone of 43 million passengers served in one year must mean things aren't too bad. The number dwarfs Melbourne's half a million passengers, but both are growing, and the prospect of more growth brought the boards together. I think we'll come to some positive resolution to this. I'm 100% uh, optimistic that that's exactly what will happen. If not, the name goes into legal arbitration for someone else to decide what to call Melbourne's airport. And airport leaders are planning another meeting soon. There's a detailed proposal on the table involving some give and some take, a compromise, but right now, no agreement. Live at OIA, Field Sutton, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. And